Welcome to Business Authority Radio, bringing you insights from today's thought leaders, professionals, and influencers. With your hosts, Neil Howe and Craig Williams. Hello and welcome to the show. This is your host, Neil Howe, and today I am with Peter Pasternak. Peter is from the hit show Flip This House that was on A&E many years ago. He is now the principal and founder of the Investor's Blueprint. Welcome to the show, Peter. Thank you, Neil. It's always a pleasure to have the opportunity to speak with you. Well, tell me a little bit about this Investor's Blueprint and who it is designed for. Who is your ideal target for this? Great. So the Investor's Blueprint is something that um, my original business partner, Brian Tro, who was on the show Flip This House with me, um, you know, people have been reaching us for many years wanting to know why we were not out and teaching people how to invest in the real estate world. And the reason was is we were out there doing it where a lot of other people are teaching about it. And so, um, you know, we just we didn't want to get involved in in something that would take away from what we're doing. And plus, the models that were being used weren't something that we really believed in. And so fast forward, a uh, good friend of, of mine, and, and I know you know me a lot, Danny Faircloth, um, entrepreneur, somebody I have a lot of respect and admiration for. Uh, we're sitting down having coffee a couple months ago and just, you know, talking about business. And he was like, how come you and Brian are not in this real estate investing um, education? And so I chatted with him and he goes, you know, there are a lot of things that are different in today's world. And so fast forward, um, we came up with the investor's blueprint, which is going to be different than anything you're seeing in the market. But we are going to educate people and be a resource for people who want to get into real estate investing. Mm -hmm. And so um, the market are people who are new, who have always thought about real estate investing, but um, – for financial reasons, have not gotten involved because a lot of the courses out there are fairly expensive. Uh, you start with a few hundred bucks here, um, moving all the way up to thirty, forty, and fifty thousand dollars. And so, um, a lot of people that's out of the reach, not something we were ever interested in. So, a lot of those newbies. Then you got people who have paid these fees and taking classes, but still have not done a deal or maybe one deal and haven't gotten the results that they wanted. Um, and then you've got realtors who deal with investors that you need a different knowledge set. And so um, they they want to get into that market. And so uh, this will help them. And then if you're a realtor and you're dealing with investors who are making money, you go, gosh, maybe I should be in this. And so um, realtors who want to get into the investing in, investing in themselves are also um, good targets uh, for the investor's blueprint. So you talked about a lot of other programs out there and the fact that you just didn't get started until now because you didn't like the business model. So tell me what you think the one big problem is with those other models and how do you solve that problem that they have? Okay, so most of the models are very similar and look something like this. Um, you get invited to go to like an informational um, event, and then you get invited to um, like a, maybe a one or two day seminar that costs you three, four hundred dollars, and it's you have to go somewhere, a hotel or a different city to take that, and then there's an upsell that is in thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars, and so I personally never felt comfortable charging somebody that type of money because if you do, what happens is either that's most of the liquid cash that they have so that they can't do deals, um, or it, that puts them in a very bad financial situation and hurts their credit. So we want something, I've always said, I wanted, if I ever got into this, I want something that could be for the masses, not for the privileged few. And so what we're doing is different is, um, ours is going to be digital and video based. So you can watch from the comfort of your home um, and kind of get behind the scenes. You know, one thing about being on television for Brian and I, people are always ask, oh, my God, like in such a short period of time, you got to 
um, the, the split done. And, you know, that was a highly edited form. And people saw the beginning and the end, but not the middle and the guts of what it took. So people are going to have the opportunity to kind of see us out there actually doing the deals, acquiring properties, and fixing the properties, and selling the properties, and seeing all the mistakes that you can make and things that come up during a project that and know how to like fix them and do them. And so um, I think, you know, with the way videos are, and they're so, um, you know, what they say, a picture is worth a thousand words to mm -hmm. be able to have that. Um, and at a very reasonable price, which, you know, it's going to be subscription based for less than $100 a month, people have the opportunity and the access um, to us and to a community of other people who are involved in the investor and real estate world. Well, I must admit, I've loved some of the videos that you've put out on Facebook Live, you know, really getting in the trenches and uh, seeing firsthand some of the problems that can come up when you're doing a flip. So with those kinds of lessons in mind, what is the desired outcome that somebody that subscribes or, you know, works with you uh, would achieve? What is it that you're going to help them to achieve? Well, I, I mean, th there are several different things. We're going to lead them through the process of watching us do things and, and figuring out what type of um, investments to do, whether they're flips, whether they're buying holds, whether they're wholesale. Um, and so I would say that really their target, their objective is to, if they're doing deals, to be able to see how to do them a little more efficiently. You know, sometimes when you start, you don't know what you don't know, and you don't even know how to get started, and to kind of provide that um, supportive atmosphere and access to kind of walk you through and analyze the deals and being able to um, take action. And so you're going to have a community of people that you can ask questions to. Um, in addition to us, um, we're going to be doing videos on a daily basis. Um, we're going, they're going to have um, weekly uh, webinars on different topics. And then once a month, we're going to have uh, uh, the opportunity for people to call in with questions of uh, whether it's their deals that they're doing and they're stuck or they need something or want a different set of eyes. And so there's a lot of things that this can help with. And the one thing I forgot to add that I just wanted to is in addition to that, which Brian is really the visual perfection construction, you've got me that's going to talk about the business side of how to run this. And then, of course, you've got Denny that's going to talk about the personal development, because as entrepreneurs, and we're all entrepreneurs, um, you know, there are times you feel lonely and on an island by yourself, and you feel like nobody really gets you or understands you. So the ability of having the right mindset is something that's so important. So we're going to deal all three of those. That is definitely important. Uh, most people that go through these courses or buy anything from the Internet, uh, you know, have a very hard time following through. Uh, how is this going to be different from those other models and how are you going to get people to engage and follow through? Well, um, part of it is um, we're going to ask questions or get people to um, go ahead and, and get involved. We're um, going to probably have some challenges. We're talking about the beginning of the year, have like a 90 day challenge for people to start and get their uh, first deal underway. Um, so kind of incentivize uh, people to take action. At the end of the day, it's, it's up to them to take it, but the ability of helping and understanding the fear, because people are fearful, but you don't want the fear to get in the way of actually doing something um, and, and paralyzing you. So the ability of having that community and, and, you know, sometimes hearing what other people are going through and the questions and understanding that, um, we all have similar challenges, um, but when you get, you know, I expect uh, thousands of people in this group um, to, to help. Um, you're going to have realtors. You're going to have wholesalers. You're going to have all these different people who really you need to help build your team to make your transaction and your investment go smoothly. 
So let's talk about some of those fears and uh, misconceptions that people might have about investing in real estate. What do you see as some of the major pitfalls that uh, beginners especially go through when they think that this is something that they want to do? Well, I think it first starts with setting expectations. The one thing about television and what some people try to um, teach is they think this is easy. And we're very blunt, and we say this on a lot of videos we've already produced and do, and that's this. Flipping homes and real estate investing is not easy. Um, and, and that's just a misconception. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm older than Denny and, and Brian, and I've done a lot of different businesses and, and been around uh, longer. And I can tell you there's not an easy way to make money. So you have to start with that premise that regardless of what you've heard, um, this is going to, you know, be time consuming. It's going to take effort and um, it's going to take your ability and your willingness to learn um, from others. So I think you have to start with that, <clears throat> with that premise that it is not easy, it's not a hobby. Uh, you've got to treat this as a business. Um, and, and then I would say next, you know, the, the major issue people have is they don't know what to do first. They don't know how to get started. They don't know what's the first thing. Is it do I need to have money? Do I need how do I find property? There's so many things that they don't know that we're going to help educate and teach and, and be a good resource. And that ability to you, you're starting something and you don't know how to do. You're looking for a lender um, or you're looking for something. The ability of being able to ask the group or have Brian and come in and answer that and, and um, give you our experience and the contact. Um, is something that I think really helps. So uh, I think it's, it, it starts with making sure you have the right mindset. It's making sure you understand it's not easy. And then it's having the ability to understand kind of step-by-step step things you need to do in order for this to be a successful endeavor. There's definitely going to be a lot of information involved. Uh, now, would you say this is a course for people that are just beginners and getting started with real estate investing or is it for experienced people as well? I, well, I think it starts with um, people who are beginners, right? And <clears throat> here's the thing, even people would say that Brian and I are experienced investors, but guess what? We learn things even on deals that we do now. And so I don't, I don't think you ever are finished with learning and so uh, there, are, there are people and things that come up that you're like, oh, you know, I hadn't even thought about that. But it certainly starts with people who have never done a deal or done a deal and haven't gotten the results, what they wanted, um, being able to take a look, take a step back and be a resource for these people. Now, um, like you said, you've got plenty of experience, both in real estate and other businesses as well. But uh, what springs to mind when I ask you what has been the biggest obstacle that you've come across as far as real estate? I would say the biggest issue is um, getting good people. And I think that's true in most businesses um, is whether they're your employees, whether they're your vendors or subcontractors is, you know, the quality of people so that you're giving a good um, product and that even deep it deepens when you're trying to expand your business and going from maybe doing one or two deals at a time to four or five. And so exponentially that um, becomes even a bigger issue, but quality of people is probably the number one, challenge of most people have in this industry and i know that you have mentored many people uh, in person uh, throughout the years can you describe a situation where you have helped somebody you know come overcome some of these fears that you've been talking about and what kind of outcome did it have for them what kind of major change did it have in their life learning from you how to do real estate investing so I always say that I like helping, I have, love helping people. And the people who have been the most, I would say, successful are the people who are like a sponge, that they want to really follow and um, see what you're doing. And so 
Um, one person who comes to, to mind um, was somebody who started um, as a wholesaler. A lot of people start as a wholesaler because um, you typically do not need money to start that. And so a lot of times that gives you the ability to um, build up your cash to move into either buy and hold or flip. And so kind of walking through what his business model. And so he started coming and watching several of the projects that Brian and I, I do and <clears throat> kind of sat down, went through the numbers um, and kind of went over what a good deal was. And, and a lot of times you have to move like it's reverse engineering. You have to start with like what the property is worth and go backwards and figure out what it's going to cost to do the project and, you know, all these other things that are involved. And so when you do that, then you make sure you don't overpay for the property. And so this gentleman had the opportunity to get a, a project. I kind of sat down, uh, helped him, and um, gave him some ideas of how much I would pay for the property. And, um, you know, he almost overpaid by almost $30,000 wow. because some of his, his numbers were not good. And um, so he went, negotiated, got the property at um, the desired amount, kind of guided him through and at the end of the day, the gentleman made, um, you know, over $70,000 on this project. And so if he hadn't done that, he still would have made money, but not as much. And um, kind of helping him through some issues that came up during the uh, renovation of that, which could have cost him more if he didn't know exactly how to work through and fix and work with his contractor and negotiate with his um, subcontractors. Um, it would have been a more costly <laughs> uh, experience for him. Well, that is quite some experience. Uh, there's definitely a lot to learn uh, if you are just getting started and to uh, save somebody or to make somebody an extra $30,000 is, uh, <laughs> that would be very nice. Uh, so tell me uh, why now, why did you bring it together now? You've been doing deals yourself, which is one of the reasons that you haven't got into this. Why is now in 2017 the time for you to make this course available to the public? I think it's really uh, twofold. Uh, one is the ability with the advancement of technology to be able to do a lot of this through uh, videos and teaching people how to do that versus uh, Brian and I were never interested in going and, you know, going to a different city and um, having people and teach them for three days and they go back home and, you know, they kind of get stuck and, and we didn't like that model. So the ability that technology has um, helped in doing that and then the ability when you're able to do that and um, being able from a cost standpoint by not having a big overhead um, being able to do this to many people and not the privilege for you. I've said that for a long time. I was never interested in charging people thousands and thousands of dollars. I don't, I, I, that just doesn't set real well with me and was never interested in that model. So the ability of, from a cost standpoint, from a digital, and then also, you know, when Denny came in, that added a third wheel, which is the um, personal development side, which is another key ingredient. It was, you know, the right time with the right people, and it made sense. And how about the market right now? Is it now a good time for people to be investing, or is it always a good time for people to be investing in real well, estate? I believe it's always a good time. It's just there are times that are more advantageous to flip homes when prices are going typically up because it takes you a while to get the projects done and you know, if the houses and the price have gone up, your sales price is going to be more. But as prices go down a lot of time, that's a great time to get buy and hold because properties are cheaper. And so if they're cheaper and usually the rent doesn't go down um, much and the property values go down, it's, it's more advantage to do that. So you have to understand the different investment strategies to um, figure out, you know, which is the best time to do. But like anything else, Sometimes it's great to have both buy and hold and flips available. So it's always a good time to make money in real estate. There's <laughs> there's always some it way is. you can make money in real estate. Yeah, but it, it's it's like a tool in a toolbox. You have to understand and have a lot of tools to know which is the ones to use 
to be able to maximize your profits. Now, speaking of tools, uh, you have uh, quite some tool at your disposal, uh, maybe not disposal, but uh, your networking event that you have every month that you have uh, built up quite a following here in Atlanta. How are you going to take that kind of community uh, nationwide? Well, you look at it this way, um, Real Estate Connections, which is the first Thursday of every month, is you know on our seventh year and averaging over 300 people. But it's really about relationships and building a community. And you know, the past year and a half, um, in addition to the night of the event, I've built a community online that has over 6,000 people. And so it's similar to what we're creating in Investor's Blueprint, and that is a community of people with a common bond, um, the common bond being real estate investing. And there are a lot of different people in there. You've got realtors, you've got lenders, you've got wholesalers, you've got um, general contractors, subcontractors. And so you, you've got people who are looking for other people in order to scale their business need to be able to take those relationships and build on them. So there's actually a lot of similarities between what I've created in Real Estate Connection and what we're creating in the Investor's Blueprint. Yeah, definitely you want to have all your questions answered and all your resources all in the one place. It certainly makes uh, things easy. So tell me, Peter, what is the long-term vision for the Investor's Blueprint? It is to help as many people as we can. And, you know, as you grow the community, it's more opportunities for everybody in the community. Um, and, you know, Brian and I have been in the real estate investing business over 12 years, and we still learn on most of the deals that we do. And so it gives you the opportunity. It's like you never get to the finish line, right? And so the more deals you do and the more people you're around, the more that you see, um, the better you get at refining your processes and your numbers and being able to really maximize your experience and your profitability. Now, the three of you between Denny Faircloth, Brian Tro, and yourself, Peter, uh, you bring three different aspects. Uh, now, tell me what do you think is the most port important part about each one of those? So let's start with Denny. Denny is going to um, really be responsible for the personal development um, and mindset, which is really something that can be useful no matter what you're doing. I, in life, it's important to have the right attitude. And um, like I said, we're really all entrepreneurs and the ability to um, make sure that you're you're in the, in the right mindset. So Denny brings that. Brian brings, um, you know, he's responsible for our company, all of the construction. And so I would say he does the real work. He is out there and is a visual perfectionist. And a lot of videos you see really show you on site what needs to be done. And so um, he is absolutely one of the most incredible people and um, laid back, but so passionate about construction and the transformation of properties. And then for me, it's, you know, I bring the business side, um, being able to um, analyze deals, um, talking about how to run a successful business um, and, and all the different things. Because if you don't treat this as a business, then you can't expect to make business type money. If you treat it as a hobby, you're probably going to make money or lose money and you won't stay in business. So all three parts of that are important. Um, Danny, Brian, and I all get along really well and understand how we're all connected. And um, I think people are going to really enjoy seeing how we work together and how the stuff that we teach and be a resource for can really help them in their own businesses. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. Like myself, you know, I've always been a fan of the show. Uh, I remember watching you and uh, Flip This House many years ago, and you know, I still watch many of the other shows that are on today. So to get access to that kind of information is going to be uh, very special. Now, Peter, we've covered a lot of information here. What's one thing that we might not have covered yet that you would like to mention? I would just say that, you know, in order to be successful, 
whether it's in real estate, which we're talking about now or anything else, is you have to be committed um, and understand that it's going to take hard work. And, you know, nothing comes easy. But if you're willing to work hard and you get the right tools and you follow the right people and um, are able to build relationships, then those are important tools that will serve you well. And you're going to enjoy the process um, because, like I said, a lot of times you never get to the finish line. You might get to the finish line of a project, but then you're working on the next one. So you really have to enjoy what you're doing. And, and um, when you stay around positive, like-minded people like Danny and Brian and I, um, you can really feel the energy and the difference. Yes, the big community of like-minded people definitely makes a difference. Well, Peter, thank you very much for being on the show with me today. Now, how would people get in touch with you and how do they find out more about the Investor's Blueprint? So uh, you can email me at peter at theinvestorsblueprint.com. And um, you can, of course, find me on Facebook. It's Peter Pasternak. And uh, more information, you can go to our website, which is www theinvestorsblueprint.com Excellent Well, Peter Prasternak uh, the star of Flip This House on a e is now launching the Investors Blueprint. Thank you very much for being my guest today, Peter Thank you, Neil I appreciate you having me on your show And to the rest of our audience thank you for listening. If you like what you hear please hit that like button and share and we'll see you next time on the show You've been listening to Business Authority Radio with Neil Howe and Greg Williams. To learn more about the resources mentioned in today's show or to listen to past episodes, visit businessauthorityradio.com.